Harston is missing out on every one of the GCP's proposed public transport initiatives and is threatened by a huge new park and ride that cars will have to drive through the village to reach. Today, an average of 18,800 vehicles will drive along the A10 through Harston. That's 10 for every person who lives here. A huge number for a historic village whose school, shops and village hall are all situated directly on the A10 itself. Harston's community has to live with all the harmful noise and pollution caused by so much traffic. In 2017, we had one of the highest air pollution levels in South Cambridgeshire. And it will get worse if the GCP's proposal for a 2,260 space park and ride on Greenbelt land at Hawkston goes ahead. We believe GCP must focus on sustainable transport solutions, developing rail connectivity as much as possible. The proposed park and ride rail bus cycle travel hubs at Foxton, Shepreth and Meldreth with connections to South Cambridge Rail Station are a priority for action. Travel solutions that will actually take people where they need to go. During rush hour every morning and after school, it's um, the traffic is hard to be able to cross roads and things because it's coming on so quickly and in so much. I think the situation with the A10 is absolutely despicable. It's one of the busiest roads in Cambridgeshire. We've got all the traffic coming from Royston up the A10. We've got planned works to have a park and ride, which is just going to increase the traffic problems. It's not safe for the children. It's quite hard because there's tons of cars streaming through. It takes ages for the traffic lights to stop because there's too many cars going through. It's especially hard for my brother, who has asthma. So it's, um, the pollution is um, very... Um, irritating for him because it um, rises his asthma up. The trucks go past quite quickly and the wing mirrors in particular could take someone's head off um, of lorries and things like that but um, it's more for me it's the dividing of the community straight down the middle. I am always cautious and I'm never completely at ease when we're going up and down the street especially obviously along here. Let's look at a map. Here is the proposed Hawkston Park and Ride site. And here's the proposed travel hub at Foxton and the Whittlesford master plan with Shepreth and Meldreth a bit further along the A10 there is a lot of potential to get people out of their cars and onto trains, bikes and buses that will get them to their destinations more quickly and avoid miles of congestion. At Duxford, there is potential to build a park and ride at Junction 10 of the M11 to capture northbound traffic and operate buses to the Cambridge Biomedical Campus and Cambridge Centre. We are asking three things. One, GCP to think about the environment and the urgent need to reduce harmful vehicle emissions. Economic growth is necessary, but we must safeguard a sustainable future for our children and grandchildren. Two, GCP to combine strategy and creativity, the proposed park and ride wouldn't be ready until 2023, and it's in the wrong place to get commuters to their destinations quickly and easily. GCP should start work on the proposed travel hubs at Foxton, Whittlesford, Meldreth and Shepherd rail stations now. Meanwhile, optimise rail travel by using hopper buses to take people directly from rail stations to specific sites like Addenbrooke's Hospital, Papworth Heart Hospital, AstraZeneca and the existing park and ride buses at Trumpington. And three, GCP to accept it has a duty of care for residents in Harston. We need good public transport. Our village should not be further polluted or our quality of life degraded as a result of a plan to reduce congestion and improve air quality for people living in Cambridge. Harston residents want to be treated equally. My main concern about the traffic coming through here is something that probably affects more Harston residents than it does people outside of Harston, and that is a sense of community, because I feel that constant traffic going up and down and up and down does, and on what is considered a high street doesn't create a high street in a small village kind of feel. 
but there needs to be some proper logistical planning because as far as I see it, and I've been living here for over 10 years, it's getting worse and worse and worse. And I think it's an absolute crime.